Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a, a unicorn ice cream, uh, which was actually suggested by my four-year-old daughter. She would have everything as a unicorn if she could. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So today we're going to be using just a simple drawing pencil, a Sharpie mark pen. Uh, we're also going to have just a rubber, which we'll use later on, and we've got some colouring pens and some colouring pencils. Uh, so let's jump straight to it. So like most videos, I would suggest is if you want to start with a pencil to begin with, because if you make any mistakes, then obviously you can rub straight out, and then you can go over at the end on your final product picture with your Sharpie. So we'll start with the pencil starters off, and we're going to just do a simple ice cream cone outline so we'll go big and round for the scoop at the top and then as you would with an ice cream get the softer bits at the bottom and then we can come around like so so like I said don't worry too much about the overall shape to begin with because it can be rubbed out at the end. And then we've got the cone at the bottom. So there we go, nice and easy, straightforward to start with. So we've got ice cream and then we've got the cone. So straight away we can jump in with the Sharpie pen. So the main feature of a unicorn, of course, is the unicorn horn. So it's entirely up to you if you want to add some hair onto the unicorn if you want to add some ears you know obviously we're going to do the eyes and the mouth and you can do those any way you like but what we're going to do we'll, we'll put some hair in today so we'll do a nice big quiff for the hair like so so the good flick at the end and the horn will be directly behind it so with this one we're going to come up like so then we're going to do the ears either side so this is the part where we're going to be rubbing out the pencil later on so we'll do just a big triangle like that and then inside we'll have the inside of the ear so just a smaller triangle and then like that. So when we get the rubber later, we'll rub out the pencil lines either side of there. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So just a big triangle and then a smaller one on the inside. Not quite the same as that side, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so now we're going to go around the outline of the ice cream that we did earlier so it's at this point if you want to change anything then now is the time to do it otherwise if you are happy then we'll just simply go over the top so notice how I haven't gone exactly over the lines there's a couple of lines that I've changed with the sharpie and then obviously you can rub out the pencil when you are done towards the end so we're now going to go around the cone, like so. So now we can start adding a little bit more detail on. So we're going to start with the eyes. So I'm going to do some big, some big eyes. Just a circle on that side, or as close to a circle as you can get. And then another one on this side. So we're now going to do the details of the eyes. We'll do another smaller circle inside and then a smaller one at the bottom. So you can color the eyes in any color you like. We're just going to do black today. Well, I'm going to do black today. You can do any colour you want to do. Like that. <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. We are then going to add in the mouth. So I'm going to do just a nice, happy, smiley mouth like so. Uh, and we're going to add in a little tongue like that. And again, we can color in the inside and then we'll color in the mouth later on. So we can add in a couple of eyelashes just to make it a little more detailed. And then what I like to do is I'm going to add in just a few a few smaller details in here. So I'm going to do just a just the reflection light reflections on that side. Uh, and then I'm also going to do some details in the cone itself. So for this, we'll just do some slightly curved lines. So not dead straight, because obviously on an ice cream cone, they are circular. So slightly curved. Like that. Uh, and then I'm simply just going to come back across. And that's going to give us the cone effect that we are looking for. Just like that. Okay, so now you can add smaller details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the hair like that. So when we get around to coloring it in, it's going to be easier to separate the colors. Uh, and if you want, you can also add a tail or you can add a big fluffy tail. You can add a circular tail. You can do a long tail. Uh, as it's a unicorn, we'll keep it relatively unicorn looking. So we're going to come out like that. And then we're just going to add some layers. So following the same line from the top and then coming back in from the bottom. And then we do that once more coming from the top and then back in at the bottom like that. Okay, excellent. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use some pencils before we get started with that. Actually, we're going to rub out the pencil that we are no longer using. So if you just get your rubber and go around the pencil lines that we drew earlier, because they are no longer going to be needed. Just like that. Oh, making a mess. Okay, there we go, just like that. So from this point now, we're gonna add some color. So I will, as usual, fast forward this bit. Uh, be sure to pause it, take as much time as you need to look, uh, and we'll see you at the end.
there we have it. A unicorn cat looking ice cream. So we just added a few extra details in there. So we just put with the Sharpie we used, uh, just added some details under the eyes. And we also added their little cheek marks either side of the mouth. Uh, and we put some colored sprinkles in. Uh, you can use, you know, pen, I use pencil, I use the coloring pencils for, for this, but you can use Sharpies, you can use colored Sharpies, you can use felt tip pens. You can colour it in however you like, or you can even keep it just black and white if you, if you prefer. Um, but yeah, so there it is. We hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, we'll see you next time.